Cybertruck has been spotted. Let's see the changes. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Before we get to the big news, the big news, remember, there's a full version and a condensed version, and this is the one that you're watching now. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see the other one, you can check the link in the description. Full version's Friday, condensed version Saturday, abracadabra. Let's take a look at the stock real quick before we get into the exciting news. So yeah, stock finished uh, up a little, you know, and <clears throat> there's um, a lot of frustration out there. Oh, the stock is doing so badly. Oh, it's doing so badly. Is it though? Five day, still up. One month, down by half a percent. And remember, this is when Elon's been selling his millions of shares. Effectively, you know, has the same kind of market downward pressure as a, as a, a funding round. Uh, six month, I mean, come on, 66% up year to date, 39%, one year, yeah, 66%, five year, I mean, let's not be, let's not be greedy. <clears throat> so the big news today, as you may know, the Cybertruck has been spotted. This drone pilot, interestingly, is like, oh, look, it's a, it's a Model S, uh, Wa, what's this? Look at that. Why, if I didn't know better, I think that's a truck. And I do know better. It is a truck. It is the new and improved Cybertruck. By the way, if you have thoughts and comments on this, pretty please leave them in the comments so we can chat about them at the end. Leave them in the chat. You know, if you put them in the comments, I can still respond to you later. You know what you're doing. So let's talk about it real quick. Sawyer Merritt uh, went ahead and grabbed these pictures. So let's look at them up close and spot the differences. So uh, the first obvious difference is this blue tape. Mm, gaffer tape is the best. <clears throat> no, I joke. So some big changes. Can you spot them? It has mirrors now, which is a requirement. Uh, it has a massive wiper blade, more of what I'm calling a wiper katana, because that thing... Oh, I hope there's aftermarket ones because that looks like a $300 wiper blade. Also, the glass is now curved. Curved on the front, curved on the sides. And there is a practical reason for that. Flat glass blinds people. And if you have flat glass, someone will always, on a sunny day, have the sun directly on them. Uh, so, <clears throat> it is, uh, you know... It is a necessity. It looked cool, whether or not it was. The hood appears a little bit shorter than before. The bed may look a little shorter. It looks a little shorter to me, but it could be that it tucks under and we just don't see as well. Not sure. Not sure. Bringing the size down a hair, I think would, well, it would improve cost for sure. It would improve weight for sure. And it might improve adoption among recreational users, weekend warriors. Uh, yeah, you can see it's got a curve along the top as well. This part remains flat. That's fine. And the door handles are gone. And the hubcaps have been removed. I don't think that's an issue. It appears that the sale storage uh, did not come to pass. <clears throat> and I don't think that was critical. I think that was a neat design element, but I think the added complexity does not justify it. Oh, MD Hofsty thinks that this is not a 40 inch wiper blade, but a pair of 20 inches. That would, that would not be unreasonable. That would not be unreasonable. You could, you could get by with that. This shot, you can see the headlights have been moved down, which I think any car in front of you would appreciate. Uh, they may still have the LED, perhaps as, as a fog light or a showpiece. Tough to say. Impossible, really, but you can better see that the side windows are now indeed curved. That's really all you can see from that picture. This is traditionally Cybertruck's, in my opinion, worst angle, and I think it looks slightly better from this angle, but from the front, I have to say, it looks more like a truck. This one gives the best impression, I think. That looks more like a truck than before. And I think that will also improve its popularity. Who is this says, if it's two separate blades, it would leave a giant streak. 
Quite possibly. Quite possibly. So, some more news on this. Let's see here. Cybertruck, Elon saying. I don't know if you've heard of him. He's, um, he's a Dogecoin enthusiast. Cybertruck can have any color you want, so long as it's nothing. Because remember, the best paint is no paint. And if the last three years since the reveal has taught me anything, it's that the best Cybertruck is no Cybertruck. Manufacturers have to ship cars with side mirrors by law, but owners are allowed to modify their cars. So the early rumor was that it will have mirrors unless regulations on these things catch up. But they can make them easy to remove. They can make it so that it's easy to access the bolts on the inside to customize in the way that makes sense to you. And they can have the camera set up there anyhow they want. The wiper is what troubles me most. No easy solution. Deployable wiper that stows in the front trunk would be ideal, but complex. When I made one of the, I don't remember which one now, one of the videos about um, addressing criticisms of the Cybertruck, one was that it didn't have mirrors, obviously, easy fix. Another was that it didn't have wiper blades, and there's no place for it. Well, we're finding that there kind of is no place for it, because uh, that's a terrible solution, what we've got now, but maybe the only one. But I showed uh, modifications to older cars, old Corvettes, I think, where the wiper uh, tucked in under a little panel at the front of the hood. And that panel just pops up, and there's a blade under it, and it just goes away. Doesn't look like that is the solution that we will have. So you're saying there's a chance we're stuck with this massive wiper? Well, would you prefer a mini wiper? Okay, well, these jokes, you know, write themselves. Here is a side-by-side, -side, the prototype versus the production model. This windshield was very big and very flat, and it's now more traditional. The hood does appear shorter. This area is now longer. You can see the glass used to end right at the back of the passenger of the rear passenger window, and it now extends further. So that could mean that the bed is indeed longer and has a little overhang right here. Why they would do this? Don't know. Maybe to better facilitate the rolling tonneau cover? That's a possibility. What do you guys think? And this is, oh, yeah, and the door handles are gone. I don't see door handles in the prototype, but we know that they were there. This is not a very high resolution picture. This is a screen capture from the unveiling event. Oh, the cardboard dash appears to also have been removed in favor of what appears to be a more traditional dashboard design. And up here is where you put all your McDonald's bags. Mm-hmm. Because cause that's classy. And that's where you put your loose change. That way, when you uh, stomp on it, you can have coins in your face. It's similar to making it rain, but with hail. So now we know from last week, initial production will be the four motor variant with independent, ultra fast, torque response, etc. And could it turn like a tank? Well, not just like a tank, it can drive diagonally like a crab. Now, diagonal driving is pretty easy to understand. Imagine you could parallel park without having to turn the wheel, you know, and understand where your back axle is. You could just you know, shimmy. And people were saying, well, tank turn? What if there was something better than a tank turn? One of my followers on Twitter sent me this super cool video. This is from 15 years ago. This is a prototype Jeep. Why can't you make that Jeep? That's beautiful. If the wheels could turn that far, you could get a zero point turn. Like that. You could do that on pavement without, without safety concerns. Now, you'd chew up your tires a little bit, but you could do it. And even if they don't turn that far, and I don't think they will turn that far, that's, that was pretty extreme, you could still do, could still do some pretty good stuff. That's some pretty good stuff. So why don't we jump right in to the comments. By the way, a quick thank you to my Patreons who get early access, bonus content, and ad-free experience 
all that good stuff. And by the way, what I've been doing is, um, rather than re-uploading this whole thing uh, in an ad-free format, I just go live without ads. So when you guys are watching this right now, there's no ads um, if you're watching it live. And then the condensed version will be on Patreon ad-free if that's your preference. So fun, fun, and cool. I was going to put this on in the background. By the way, Chile Al 100. And that is where the condensed version ends. If you want to see the full Q&A, which is about another 20 minutes, I think, yeah, follow the link in the description, or who knows, maybe I remember to put it in the corner and check it out. Thank you guys so much. Stay tuned, stay juicy, and I just can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the other side.